In the last video, we learnt about Mach number and its application. To recall, it is the ratio of local speed of an object to speed of sound in that medium. We also saw that few super fast jets travel at Mach 1.4 which is a supersonic speed. But reaching the supersonic speed is a bit difficult. Because the aircraft has to breach the sound barrier which is Mach 1 to get supersonic. At Mach 1, the aircraft experiences high turbulence and is difficult to control which can be fatal. After it breaches the sound barrier, it will produce shock waves. So, what are these shock waves? Let us understand. When you throw a stone in a still pond, the sound of stone falling into the water produces waves or ripples. It will be concentrically outwards from the zones. Even in the case of speakers, they evenly spread out the sound. We can see that as concentric waves and call them as wavefronts. In these two cases, we have wavefronts produced by a body which is idle. If we analyze wavefronts of a moving source, like a bullet train moving at some speed and honking repeatedly, we have wavefronts which are denser to one side. They are crowded in the direction of movement of force. This also explains Doppler effect. The crowding of wavefronts increases the pitch of the sound. Even in this moving source, the wavefronts are concentric. They are generating one after the other. Now, if we have a source like an aircraft which moves at Mach 1, the speed of sound, the wavefronts would look like this. There will be wall-like barrier in front of the source which creates turbulence. Now, the wavefront looks like it is generating from an eccentric point. If the source speeds up, it will break the sound barrier, which means the aircraft will be traveling at a speed more than the speed of sound. So, the wavefronts would now be in a shape of a cone because the source is traveling faster than the wavefronts. The wavefronts overlap and produce a cone-like structure. This shockwave produces a harsh, unbearable sound as you can see from these real examples of supersonic flights. The shock waves reach the ground after aircraft passes over because aircraft is traveling at a speed which is more than the speed of sound. Aircrafts traveling at supersonic speeds experience vast difference in temperature, air pressure, lift and drag of the aircraft. It sometimes causes turbulence and aircrafts will be difficult to control. Supersonic speeds are banned for commercial flights and only few aircrafts like Concorde can be brilliantly maneuvered at supersonic speeds. This is all about shock waves. In this video, we learnt about wavefronts of sounds from different sources, shock waves produced by supersonic aircrafts. Before you go, try this out. Do you know what is the highest Mach number reached? Do a bit of research and know the answer. It's quite fascinating topic to know.